Hello people, welcome to number um, 0.3 Hagrid Podcast um, Episode Yeah um, So what things do I have to talk about? Uh, you've got My 2007 iMac um, You've got um, to think, 2007 I'll let you yeah, stuff to talk about. Well, first things first, I guess, would be the recap. Oh, yeah, rate my ears. I don't want to. Oh, okay. Um, sorry, it's just. There we go, that's a lot better. Um, so, what have I got? So, moving my Power Max three times and my new lamp, and fixing my setup part eight. I've got a new lamp, it's really quite nice, it lights up. The only problem is its stand doesn't isn't like attached to it really. So if you pull like the arm bit, it just sort of comes out of its stand. It's a bit of a pain to get back in because you've got like the cable for it. But it's very nice. It's very bright. It's adjustable, which is very good because turning it too high actually really sort of makes the screen so sort of washed out and not very visible so thank god that's a fix um after that currently how many computers can be used in future video and plans i can't really remember the plans um after that 2000 7 iMac into iMac Thinkers, so I've got a 2007 iMac now. It's upstairs. Um, yeah, I didn't really do much in that video. <coughs> um, yeah, so I saved it from going to the dump, basically. That's what the seller was saying. Um, it came with no hard drive. Um, not a big deal. Um, well, it's a bit of a deal. It's a bit of a pain to get open, but once you got it open, you got it open, and you got the SSD inside. Um, yeah. And yeah, so the backlight wasn't working when I got it. Um. And when I took apart the inner bit of the screen, because the, the glass is like magnetically attached to like the bits of wrap, like the bezel around the screen, and underneath that, on like the actual LCD screen itself, it was quite dirty. I still haven't cleaned it, by the way. <laughs> but um, yeah, and then when I took it even further apart. Um, what else? I can't really remember. But when I took the screen off, because to get to the like storage slot, you have to take off the screen. Um, when I took off the screen, it turns out the backlight cables were plugged in, and when I plugged all of them in, it works. Yeah, I'm not even joking. It was that simple to get the backlight working. <sighs> Mind blown. But yeah. Thankfully, you know, it, it, it helps. Because it makes it way more usable. And, um, 
Yeah. And speaking of making it more usable, um, I have got um, CPU upgrades coming. Uh, can you tell I'm filming this at one o'clock in the morning? Well, quarter past one, pretty much. Um, by the fact that I'm so empty minded, um, that's why I said I'm waiting to be able to record this. Um, yeah, so I've got a CPU upgrade. Oh, yeah, so I got it for about 26 quid, I think, with the delivery. Um, quite fast, I mean, it arrived on Wednesday or did it on Saturday? Well, in my head, that's way faster than what it actually was. No, it was actually Friday. Yeah, in my head I felt like it felt way faster. I think I might have just sort of forgotten and about it or something. <coughs> <coughs> but yeah. Um yeah, so I've got a CPU upgrade. Um if you're wondering why I bought a two thousand and seven iron Mac, um it's quite special because Oh, uh, well, I've like changed the mouse with this. I've got a Logitech. I don't want mouse it, it's just a little Logitech G203 Light Sync. That's what it is. Got it from CX like a year or two ago. Got it more of like two years ago. But if I go in here, it's got the current Mac it is supported by Open Core Legacy Patcher. However, it needs the CPU upgrade, um, though, and uh, apparently it needs to remove stock Bluetooth to prevent panics. Not a big deal. USB 1.1, not a big deal. You only, I believe, for this solution is just to use like a powered USB hub, and I've got that. Or well, if not, I just go with Monterey. Um, yeah. So I've got a CPU. Um, I've got the Core T ninety three hundred. Annoyingly, the CPUs like always, always, always seem to come from China. Um, so it's going to take like a while to arrive. So, probably by the time it arrives, I'll stop doing these daily videos. It's weird to think about that because it's not really properly occurred to me. But it is February. I did say I'd stop doing daily videos after February. And it's, I mean, it's not that far into February. It's only the 10th. Got the news here, how to press it. If you go in Canada, go in here. Oh, it's got like preset stuff. Um, yeah, so you've got the 19th. Seems fair, I've got the next week off, which is something at least. Um, so I've got exams for these two weeks, I believe. Um, but you yeah. hopefully, time passes by. I still sort of want this month over, anyways. Because supposedly there's going to be a new 21 pilot song released on the 29th. It's not like an inaccurate source they've like predicted. 
deep stuff before I say predicted, I don't know what the word is. They've exposed the release date for um, Shy Away before, if that was correct, and stuff. But, um, yeah. Um, yeah, so. Um, yeah, so. What I've been doing with the 2007 iMac Mac is I've got a 480 gig SSD. I thought my webcam had froze then. <coughs> um, still out of stock, 2 gigs of RAM. I do have two 2 gig sticks, but they're currently being used. So, in my laptop that I actually use, and sort of been running out of RAM on that and um, CX sells the RAM but it's 18 quid and also it's going to have delivery if um, here um, DDR2 4 gig this isn't like the case, this isn't just the case for CX. I hate how it pops up with computers. I want, want, I want. Um, none of those. I want. Oh, it should be that. Um, yeah, here's what I want. Also, it's not even in stock. Um, yeah, 18 quid. Don't know what the delivery would be like, but it probably wouldn't be that cheap. So, yeah, you're probably paying almost the same price as the actual computer itself, which is ridiculous for an extra two gigs. Thankfully. <coughs> I do have a few gig sticks somewhere. Um, um, I don't want one gig. DDR2, if I just click DDR2, I can help. And it's not listed. Why is that not listed? It is mislabeled. Um, oh, it's probably because of that. DDDDR2. Like that. Yeah, that looks like it's solved it. Yeah, here it is. 75p each. And for the delivery, costs a bit of money. I don't know how much. Delivery, I think it's like five quid or something. Yeah, it's not particularly cheap. Um, yeah, <coughs> but to be fair, it's still sort of a bit cheaper than ePay, so it is sort of worth it, I'd say. I just don't get why delivery is so expensive. Um, by the way, I was one. I was wanting to see like how much it would be like the to get all ten piece, all of the ten piece CPUs. By the looks of it, they only had about almost just over half in stock. I think it's like eighty nine. No, just under actually. Would be. They had eighty nine, but they only had about. 40 in stock and the cost for the delivery for all of them was like over 120 quid it's like what surely you could just like combine the delivery for some parts and it'd be I don't like 20 quid or something but no they've got to make it all, all ridiculously expensive yeah so there's that
Um, but yeah. Um, I think what what else I could say. As you can see, wearing a pair of nice boxes. Um yeah. Um yeah. Um oh yeah, I don't think I've actually said my plan outright. So the plan with the 2010 Mac is to get like every single version of Intel Mac OS on there and um, without a CPU upgrade it's limited to El Capitan because of like the bit lacking SSC 4.1 but with the CPU upgrade you'll have SSC 4.1 and be able to go all the way up to Sonoma, it's just ridiculous. Um, well, I say ridiculous, ridiculous for the Mac world. I mean, you know, you could run Windows 7 on um, Windows, on Windows 11 on God knows. I've seen people run like Windows 11 on the 2006 Mac Pro. Um, Um, I don't know, this might be a bit of a stretch. This is, yeah, I have a feeling it's going to be a bit irrelevant. Single core, ancient single core. Okay, yeah, Pentium 4, that's quite old. Um, <laughs> GT710. It's got GTR2800 though, which isn't too bad. Um, um, yeah. So, yeah, it's not really that exciting. 15 years old in 2021. That's 2006. Yes, yeah, so that's not surprising. Yeah. Hmm, yeah, it's not as different, that much different as the 2006 Mac Pro. Although it's 2006 Mac Pro, it's going to be way more powerful because that's got dual Xeons. Yeah, also I plan on having, you know, like Linux, I'll probably have a couple of versions of Windows, I want to try HiQ, um, OpenBSD, whatever I can get on there, I don't react to their sci-fi, Android, sounds like this might sound ridiculous, but um, I don't know, I have actually run Android on a Mac before, I've run it on the, um, what's it called, the, um, um, oh my god, the, um, 2011 Mac Pro, um, yeah, um, what else have I run it on, well, yeah, I think that's actually all I've run it on, yes, well, Android x86, I should probably make that clear. Not Android ARM. Um, but yeah, I've had that. I don't. It's the list of operating systems. I mean, there probably is. List of operating systems. 
and I, I don't want, I just want linked as one, PSDs as one, um, Androids as one, I mean Androids technically a Linux, but who cares, um, Rhapsody, can you get Rhapsody on a 2007 iMac, I'm, I'm just curious, that, that'd be, um, that'd be, oh, that. I'm sorry, this just sounds ridiculous. Um, sounds great on the iMac UVSC. Uh, I do These are just screenshots of Mac OS. Yeah, that was probably a bit of a stretch. Um. Um, I will say DOS is a bit eh. Plan 9. Is Plan 9 non Unix? I thought it was Unix. Well, it's built on Unix concepts. Yeah, I've not touched Plan 9 at all, so I don't know how Plan 9 works. I've heard of it, and I probably should. At least give it a little bit of a look. Um, do do. Um, um, God. On PC, oh wait, no, that's for IBM. Wait, it's so. Well, okay, OST is from Batman since 2001. It's like, oh, is it still going? No, it's not. Um, I don't really know. You've got Windows. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's not really no, there's not list a proper sort of easy list. Um, non proprietary Unix or Unix like you've got BSDs. Um, what's the docs? Oh, it's like Plan 9, it said. No, well, inspired, and it's got BSD. Okay. Um, yeah, let's update recent. That isn't the proprietary one. I remember seeing a proprietary. Was it a proprietary? No, was it the 64 bit proprietary? Or I think it was something else. Okay, I don't know. I'm probably just losing my mind. I know you Serenity OS exists. I don't know if you can get that on actual hardware. I've like tried it in the VM. I mean, yeah, also you've got to think, will they actually really be compatible? God, Google Fuchsia. I don't really know what it is, but I've heard of it. Okay, so it's like smart home thing. Um, compatibility base. Um, 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 
Yeah, so it's a completely different thing, I think. Apart from, you know, it's like sort of Unix like. I mean, a lot of stuff, I think, is oh, more for us. Hurts my brain. That's like proprietary thing, hobby. Um, yeah. Oh, is I think this is what I'm thinking of the proprietary um, thing. Yeah, it is for some weird reason sixty four bits proprietary, but thirty two bits open source, and then there's a fork. Um, yeah, Calibri OS. Um, yeah. I, I probably should try and get these weird operating, install, operating systems installed first. Just because of... Um, oh. Um, Although I'm it's pretty a stretch. I could maybe at most get high key. But I mean, yeah, like BSD I should be able to do Linux, you know, easy. Boom boom. Lego Mindstorms. Mindstorms robotic they have a robotic vent ro like robot. Wow. <laughs> Yeah. Interesting. So this is like mobile operating systems, I think. Mobile embedded operating systems. Yeah, mobile. Not hobby. Stuff like that. Yeah, I really don't know. Can you get like free do free DOS? I know free DOS is probably not that exciting. I don't really know what free DOS can do. Um Um Yeah. So, wait, X DOS, X, X3 DOS can have graphical user interface 14 nano X, which is a Windows system. And FLTK, I've heard of FLTK as a toolkit. That I might use someday for my apps, but yeah, it's just interesting. My brain is just falling apart. Incompatible time sharing system. That's a name. Yeah, I don't know how well this is. Open Harmony. I think I've heard this, but I might be making that up. Oh, it's the Hawaii. Hu Hawaii. Hu Hu How do you pronounce that? Um. Wait. So this is is an Android. Have a multi kernel so you can have multiple kernels for it. So you've got Linux stuff, okay. I think that's what it's trying to say. I'm feeling tired. Um, yeah, um. 
and then I've heard the Dragon Fly BSD. I've not really used it though. Um, Tourist, never heard of it. Expanding to know. Was it Ghost BSD I'm thinking of, or was it Midnight BSD I'm thinking of? Um, I don't know. It's one of them has like an eight gig requirement, eight gig of RAM requirement for storage. See, like copies it to RAM or something. I don't know. But yeah, it'd be definitely interesting to get as many operating systems as I can on there. Like unique operating systems. Um, but yeah, I guess that's going to be it for today, I hope you enjoyed this, and goodbye.